With Smoking Dragons, it's your girl Kimmy Tan, and I'm so glad all of you guys could come hang out with me today. In today's video, we're gonna be hotboxing the shit out of this motherfucking Rolls Royce! Woo! I can't believe we're actually doing this. I mean, this is the fanciest car I'm ever gonna smoke in, and yo, I feel like not worthy to be in this car. Like, even this, it, even the smell of this car smells rich. I mean, I feel like these seats alone are worth more than my entire existence. They even have the RR on it, you know? Stands for rich. We moving on up. We going to new levels. <sighs> JK, this is not my car. <laughs> but my manager did say I was able to use it and hotbox it. The top does come off and I realize I've never done like a smoking in a car video where I've taken the roof off and I feel like that might be fun. So we're gonna hotbox just a little bit of it and then take the roof off for the rest of it. Today we're not gonna be like smoking a joint or a blunt. Instead, we're going to be dabbing. So for this video in this nice ass car, I don't wanna bring something Something like a joint or a blunt something that's really gonna like reek the shit out of this car so I want to do something that would be a little less I have a portable dab vape by stonesmiths yo this shit is like the Rolls Royce of all vapes and I mean it's fitting cuz we in a motherfucking Rolls Royce we in a Rolls Royce ooh, ooh. Do you even see this packaging this is like this looks like an expensive bottle of cologne let's see what the vape looks like Oh. Yo, this vape looks so fancy. Have you ever seen anything more sleek? Laying around, this kind of could look like anything. We have this super cool contraption to smoke out of today. It's just so much easier to bring a vape around if you're trying to like dab on the go, you know what I mean? So you don't have to bring your big ass blowtorch. You don't have to... Yo, I don't know how people do that. Like, <laughs> I know some of my friends who be like taking up their big ass blowtorch and their nail and just like lighting it up while you're on the freeway going 80 miles per hour like <laughs> you don't know multitasking until you've tried to do a dab on the freeway you know pff, look at us we're anything but traditional on this channel so we're gonna go with this portable vape oh my god okay i've never tried it before and i got myself some dabs from steep steep yeah i guess it's just called steep i got myself some jack herrera live resin and let's go ahead and open this baby up. Uh, ooh, okay. So it comes in this container. Let's take a look at it. Oh, oh, it's this way. Ooh. 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 Mmm. Okay, Mr. Jack Herrera. It's clear and it smells really, really freaking bomb. So I can't wait to smoke some of this with you guys. Let me just get the top off of my stonesmith's vape yo i really love this top how it's kind of like angled like a lipstick like this so when you smoke it like this mm, it kind of could look like you're putting lipstick on <laughs> kind of not really damn just gonna take a little bit of that i don't have a dab tool so i'm just gonna use my nail <laughs> oh my god the one perk of having long nails one of the perks of having long nails shove that in there Stick that in there. This is probably a bad thing, but I literally never read the instructions whenever I get new vape. I mean, most of the times it kind of works the same. You press it like three to five times to start it, and then you press it like twice to select the temperature. So let's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. The colors are changing. And then change the temperature, one, two, three. I was right, you press it three times to choose the temperature and then twice to confirm. Oh, oh, we're smoking. So I hope all of you guys have something awesome to enjoy with me today. If you are not in a legal state or if you can't smoke with me right now, I hope you have a bowl of cereal or a meal or something like that. Oh, go ahead and gather all your joints, your blunts, your coffee and your tea. And let's blaze. Mmm, mmm, Jack Herrera. Ah, oh, dabs. It's so nice to be able to dab. Mm. <laughs> so guess what? Your girl's learning how to drive! Mm -mm -mm. I know, I've done a lot of car hotboxes, but here's a confession for you guys. I've never driven it. <laughs> 
every single car hotbox I've done, I've had to get someone to drive me to a place, park me, and then wait for me to finish my video and then come back. But I'm finally learning how to drive. You know, you can't be the main character if you can't drive. Your girl finally is getting her license and learning how to drive. Right now, I just graduated from like 20 miles per hour. I think yesterday I went up to 30 miles per hour. Ooh, I'm still not ready to go on the freeway or like anything like that. Like dude, even the thought of going 60 miles per hour is just like insane to me right now. <laughs> like you guys know that meme that's like, why are we going so fucking fast? That's literally how I feel. I've documented everything on my journey so far and it's gonna be a series on my channel. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Yo, it's so funny. Like <laughs> it's literally like a movie where inside I'm like, ah! and then you go outside and it's like, <laughs> Literally, the dude who was teaching me how to drive, like he was looking at me like, it, it's okay, we, we still have a lot of ways to go, you're fine, and I'm just in there like, ah, why are we going so fast? I know how to do a left turn, right turn, I know how to skirt skirt, I know how to donut. I never really grew up with like car culture or anything, like I grew up in like Asia, and there you're not really allowed to drive until you're 18, and I moved to America when I was 18, and then I find out that everyone's been driving since they were in high school, which like boggles my mind, because okay, first of all, there's already so much peer pressure in high school, like y'all are growing up, you, it, literally the only thing you care about is how you look and how you come off to other people, why not add cars to the mix? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that'll, that's fine. <laughs> Dude, it's like if you have a car, you're like in, like you're instantly like cool because like you drive a car, and like if you have rich parents, you get to drive a nice car, but like if you're not, then it's like, fuck you, bitch, suffer. Like, you already got acne, you're already like going through puberty, and then you gotta throw cars in the mix. Like, mm, that is crazy to me. But it's also really exciting. I mean, especially now living in LA, Uber is public transportation, you know what I mean? And so everyone drives, everything is so far apart because LA is so freaking big. So hey, it took me a long time, but I'm finally learning how to drive. I drove this baby here, I know how to park. I can drive through neighborhoods with the speed limit is like 25 miles per hour, which is perfect for me. Let's try taking a hot dab. We don't need no dab tool up in here. All we need is our long fingernail. Ooh. That was a nice cloud. Oh. Woo! Woo! Okay, that was a big dab. Woo! Mmm. <laughs> Dude, that actually tastes really good when you do it at the mid temperature. Because I feel like when you do it at a temperature that's too high, yes, you'll get a lot of smoke, but I feel like it kind of like ruins the taste a little bit. Oh my god, when I just started dabbing, someone once told me taking a dab is like smoking an entire joint in one hit. This vape is so fancy! Oh my god! Oh, it's getting a little hot in here. Oh my god, everything about this car is so fancy. Let's take the top down, guys. The car's alive! <laughs> Do you see this? Suddenly there is light. Oh, no, no, why is it going down? Why is it going down? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, and there was light. <laughs> Dude, this car literally just looks like a, a spaceship. Like, it looks like a spaceship and a boat and a car all combined into one. Do you see this? Ooh. Now I've just exposed myself to everyone around me so everyone around me can hear what I'm saying. It's just you and me, guys. If you've never been in a Rolls Royce, live vicariously through me. You pretty much have like couches in the back. It's so comfortable. And here, there's where I usually sit. I'm a professional passenger. <sighs> This is nice. This is so, so nice. So I know it can't really be considered a hot box if we have the windows open, but <laughs> you know what? <laughs> a Rolls Royce, a Rolls Royce. Let's do a hot dab. Well, you can still get pretty good clouds even with the top down. That's pretty cool. It has been so long since I've able to just like sit and chill with you guys. You guys kind of know what's been going on with me lately. You know, the ups and the downs, especially the downs. A lot of people have been telling me like, oh, Kimmy, like it really isn't your year, huh? Like your friend died. 
some other shit happened to you and you lost your apartment all in one month. But you know what? I really feel like it still is my year. Like I'm doing a lot of growth this year and I feel more confident and I feel more just like in touch with myself than I ever have all year. Like this entire year has just been so crazy for all of us with the pandemic and all. Dude, staying at home, especially when you live with someone else or lived with someone else, is just, it's, it, it, it's crazy. It does a toll on you for sure. Not only that, but a lot of people are losing their jobs. A lot of people are having their work impacted, their health impacted by this. And it's just shout out to all of you guys who are watching right now, who are still here. Huge shout out to all our frontline workers who literally put their lives on the line every single day to fight for us and to save our lives. I'm lucky and like I was able to get tested. I'm so glad I never had to do the thing where they stick the giant stick up your nose. Oh, oh, that scares me. That scares me so much. It literally, they just like stick it down up your nose so far, so far. Apparently they stick it down so far so that it goes to the back of your throat and then it like tickles the back of your throat and they just pull it up. Mm, I can't even, do, I, I can't even with that. Like bro, it's literally like a stick like this long and they just like, Oh yeah, yeah, you know, just casually sticking it in your nose. Oh, looks like it's time for a top off with the top off. This top staying on. This wax kind of looks like boogers. <sighs> this guy's just randomly staring at me. <gasps> oh my god, I don't know why I can't help myself. Whenever someone looks at me, I'm like. He's probably like, what's this little girl doing in this big ass car? Don't forget guys, I'm 5'2", so when you look from the side, I feel like literally just my head is popping out. Yep, see, it's just my head popping out. Apparently that's a form of therapy, it's called rejection therapy. It's when you purposely make a fool of yourself and put yourself in uncomfortable situations. It teaches you to not care. It teaches you to just let it all go, to just be yourself. Because if someone sees you acting a fool, but then you do it more, I don't know, I feel like that looks better than like someone watching you act a fool and then watch you recoil. If someone catches you doing something stupid, do it up, do it more. They're gonna see how much you don't give a fuck and they're gonna be like, hmm, you know what? I can respect that. In photos, I'm always acting a fool, always acting ridiculous because that's how I feel inside, you know what I mean? So I wanna stank face it up. I wanna do my silly things because it makes me feel good. And in the end, that's all I really care about as long as I'm not hurting anyone else. And pff, shouldn't we all live life that way? Life is too short to be given a fuck about what other people think of you. You know, one of my favorite sayings that I love, 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 it's my life motto. What people think of you is none of your business. You know who the fuck you are. Fuck what everyone else has to say. You know, they can say what they want. They can think what they want. That's their right. It's not true, <laughs> but that's on them. That's not on you, that's on them. I am just so, thankful for every single day that I get to wake up not wake up to what no just wake up I know a lot of people watching this right now or just a lot of people in general out there aren't having the greatest time and I realized this after I posted my not my latest video a few videos ago the, the sad one. Oh my god dude that video was so sad I couldn't even edit that video I had my manager do it because I just I couldn't even just hear myself talk about it I just literally sat in front of the camera spilled my heart out and told my manager just, you know, just leave in the most important parts. And she left like everything in there. But, you know, I really appreciate you guys um, showing me love after that video. Um, it really means so much to me. And it also really hurts me that so many people have had to go through that or, you know, just aren't feeling the best right now. And, you know, I really feel like 2020 being so shaken up has really just forced us, like, to be the strongest version of ourselves that we can be. Like 2020 and this pandemic and quarantine just really brought out the worst side of ourselves. We had to finally face the worst side of ourselves and God or the universe or whatever you say. So God was just like, I'm gonna test you and see how you do when you're put under pressure. Are you gonna stay positive or you're just gonna completely break down? And trust me, I've done my fair share of breakdowns. It's okay to do both as long as you rise up from your ashes. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of the things I was saying in that video, and one of the things I stand by, is that you have to feel your emotions. You have to be able to face them like an enemy. You don't always want to run away from your enemy. You're going to want to face them. That's the only way you can defeat them. At least how I've been doing it. I've been seeing my depression, I've been seeing my anxiety 
as a physical person in front of me. And instead of running away from it, which is what I did, and it works, you can absolutely run away from your enemy, but you're never gonna defeat them that way. They're still gonna be there waiting for you when you come out. So I've been seeing them as a physical other person that I'm trying to defeat, like in a video game. You know what I mean? To level up. You've defeated so many villains up to this point. 2020 is like the boss level, the first boss level. And if you defeat this boss level, you're gonna go to levels you've never been to before. And that's what we're all doing. We're all doing this together. Whatever helps you get through it, rather it, if it be listening to music, if it be going in, diving into a new TV show, Lord knows I've been doing that. Or if it be your best friend, Mary Jane, you know what I mean? As long as you're not hurting yourself or other people, do what you gotta do. And sometimes doing what you gotta do is to literally wake up and look in the mirror and remind yourselves every freaking day, this is what I do. You a boss, you a boss bitch, you are that bitch. Never forget who you are, Mufasa. Remember what Mufasa says, don't forget who you are. And I know that sounds so tacky and so Disney, but I mean, Disney movies are Disney movies for a reason. Like there's a lesson to be learned from everything. If this year is a movie, which it totally feels like it has been, right now, this is the climax. This is the part where the hero, you, rises up and defeats that villain. You got this, you got this. I mean, hey, look at me. In the past month, I lost my apartment. I lost my friend and some other life things, which I'm not ready to talk to you guys about yet, but most of you kind of already figured it out. Just losing so many things, literally all in the span of one month, it's for a reason. You know what I mean? Like, I'm staying with my manager right now, and her husband was telling me the other day, like, yo, you are here for a reason. You know what I mean? Everything, you've lost everything for a reason. As hard as it is to hear, and as hard as it is to say, I lost a lot for a reason. I feel like I'm discovering the next level of myself. I feel like, I feel like I'm discovering me like I feel like I'm discovering the person I was meant to be and the person I was meant to be had to go through all of that in order to end up here and if God woke me up this morning that means he still has a purpose for me my purpose is still out there I still have a reason to be here so I'm not gonna disrespect that I'm not just gonna give that up I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep going I'm not gonna lie guys it's hard sometimes it feels like you're just going through an uphill battle and there's no end in sight. You don't know when you're gonna reach the top. You just keep, <laughs> you just keep going up. But I feel like that's the point. You know what I mean? We're not supposed to know what the end is gonna look like. Only God knows. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna keep fighting. And you know what? Healing is lo not linear, guys. Healing doesn't go like this. Healing goes like this. You know what I mean? But you see, everything I'm doing, at least I'm still going up. You see, so, like, my healing is going like... <laughs> but at least I'm going upwards. The past month, I've never felt more lonely. I've never felt more tired. I've never felt more strung out. I've never felt more on edge. You know, I've had so many moments this year where all I wanted to do was just break down, run away, and cry. And I've done that. It didn't work because I ran away to New York and when I got back from New York my problems were all just sitting there still waiting for me but here I am oh I hear a family oh you know it's just me sitting in my car talking to myself I feel like the trick is to kind of like like milk it a little bit like don't just like hit it straight up give it some time to collect in there you know give the cloud time to collect and then you can take your hit Ooh. oh no cough that time hmm. i'm getting better at this it's been a while since i've taken a dab like a real dab and i'm still too pussy to do the full big blowtorch in the car but maybe i will someday i just don't trust myself <laughs> to not accidentally lose control of the blowtorch or something and then all of a sudden the whole car is on fire mm, that's nice that's super nice jack herrera man i don't usually smoke sativas but i mean <laughs> my life lately has just been doing a bunch of things i'd never do so 
<laughs> there's a first for everything oh my god speaking of my hair oh my god look how much the color has faded Ooh, i had two red streaks up here but now they've just turned like i don't know shit blonde i feel like it's so important right now in this season of depression and this season of anxiety that you all remember to put yourself first i mean yourselves and others of course but it, you can't help others if you can't even save yourself like if you're trying to protect other people from covid but you have covid how's that gonna work like you know how on airplanes and stuff they always ask you to put the oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on other people it goes the same for life i mean it's like you have to be able to be okay with yourself if you're gonna make others feel okay there's a lot of things that we do that we don't realize is self-harm isolating yourself that's self-harm <laughs> there's a reason why they put prisoners in isolation okay it's not good for you it literally can drive you crazy and like i said while it's easy to escape that way it's not healthy for you even though it sounds nice putting other people's needs before your own that's a form of self-harm too because when you're constantly doing that you are just telling yourself that you are not important and in your life you are the most important person you are the only person who's going to be there for you for the rest of your life without question i mean family yes but you know what's stronger than family yourself okay so i want you guys to always remember that running away from your problems is not healthy i tried it trust me the, the day april died i booked myself a flight to new york i was like i just gotta run away and while i'm in new york like let me do some tattoos and stuff but yeah the initial reason for me wanting to go to new york was i just wanted to run away treat yourself as if you would i don't know a friend asking for advice because i know a lot of you are like me i'm totally this way i am so great when it comes to giving advice like whenever my friends are like oh i need this or i need this i'm like here's what you do 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 but when it comes to myself i'm just like not nice to myself i'm just not like i don't i don't know like i always put my own needs aside i don't give myself the time that i need i don't surround myself with people that are going to be good for me which is all changing now and it feels different and it feels hard sometimes but change is change is never going to be easy you know what i mean the whole point of growth is that you're put in an uncomfortable place so that you can reach levels that you've never reached before like think about when you play video games every boss level it's never easy you know what i mean you've never done it before of course it's going to be difficult but once you defeat that boss level man once you defeat that boss you become the boss nothing feels better than self-growth my favorite movie is fight club and fight club one of my favorite quotes from that movie is what what was it self-improvement is masturbation and oh do i love that quote because i have never related more growing so much now just learning to how to be by myself and learning how to deal with all of life's problems while you're dealing with your emotional problems like that is so much growth that i've done more than i've done in months <sighs> i forgot what i was saying <laughs> but let's take a dab and then maybe i might remember Oh, I feel like a celebrity. Hey, Kimmy, hey, the homie wants your number. The dude down there, he's like, your age or whatever. He said he wants your number. What do you think my age is? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'll say 18. <laughs> I'm a bit older than that. Yo, I just started watching Cobra Kai on Netflix. Bro, bro, I finished two seasons in like two days like i'm a huge karate kid fan my movie taste including my music taste a hundred percent comes from my dad so he would show me all these movies growing up and with karate kid he was like you have to watch karate kid it is a cultural staple and like i had a huge crush on the dude from cobra kai and then i found out he was 19 and i'm like no! you can hear my uterus just and you know, now that I'm learning how to drive too, learning how to do sharp turns, my instructor's like, you wax on and you wax off. <laughs> Which totally makes sense because before that, I, you know, I just, I don't know. Learning how to drive has made me feel so much better. Like, I feel like, like we said, leveling up. I'm actually really excited that I lost that apartment. Funny story how I lost that apartment is actually a huge, like, annoying legal battle with my landlord. So I was gonna make a video about this actually, and I've talked about it, but whatever. My landlord found my YouTube channel. Yo! My residence, my apartment is literally the 
only place, the only legal place they're allowed to smoke. Yeah, it's legal in California, but you can't just be like smoking outside, like whatever. You have to be in a place of residence. I mean, I guess like right now, smoking in my car isn't like totally legal, but yeah, I'm gonna get someone else to drive me back. Like, now that I look back, I can totally laugh at it. I'm just like, oh my God, she found my YouTube channel. She, she watched me smoke 81 blunts. I'm guessing that's the one she saw because it's the first one that pops up when you look at my page. Oh, what was I talking about? Okay, I'm actually low-key excited to lose this place because, dude, this means I get to move to a new apartment. I get to start afresh. You know, there's so many memories and just so many... It's just, oh, just so much negativity attached to the walls of that apartment. I'm really excited to get a new one. Also, I think I'm coming back to New York. Not to run away this time, actually just to work. Like, I love my job. I love tattooing so much. And I can't wait to go back to New York. And I know a lot of you watching right now are in New York or on the East Coast. So if you do want to book with me, here's how you do it if you want to get tattooed by yours truly i'm really excited i'm really excited i mean look at where i am right now like you know what i mean i'm just really excited for the next part of my life i'm learning how to drive your girl starting some new businesses going on some new ventures Ooh, i'm getting so much time for myself to get to know myself even more and I can't be more excited and I thank you guys so much for staying with me through this process I promise not every video is gonna be that depressing like of course it still hurts but you know what I mean I'm rising above it I'm finding reasons to be happy and sometimes being positive sometimes like going on is a choice you have to make that choice daily to wake up to do something for yourself like even something as simple as just sitting down and doing your makeup even if you're not going anywhere you're taking that step to do something for yourself and that in itself is self-healing don't forget to cut my merch don't forget to follow me on instagram and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit that little bell button so y'all get notified every single time i drop a new video i love you guys so 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 freaking much keep breathing fire my little dragons and until next time Stay high!